Good. Yeah, we've been we've been Zelda ing. Yeah, Zelda ing and God, God of, of War. Warring. Right. Slay the Spire. There we go. Boink. All right, and um, the new character, uh, which is in the beta. Yeah. It is a beta. There is a beta version of the early access game. No, that, that, which that makes, makes sense because they want to. They want the one that everyone can play to be the stablest release. Right, right. And beta, they're playing around with shit. And it's not necessarily stable. That makes sense. Robot wizard. It's a robot wizard. So I don't know anything about this new character. Neither do I. Neither do I. We are slay the spiring. Done and we, update. We, we just we just signed up for the beta thing. We just yeah. checked. Okay, we want to be in the beta, yeah. so it should be okay. Oh. It's it just actually the minute we checked that, it started updating. So I think we're gonna be all right. Yeah. So hey, you know what? Let's find out. We want to download to this machine. Split, yeah, oh yeah, Slay the Spire beta. We are in the beta. And so uh, all we need to do is play as the... Uh, what did it say we needed to do? Play as the silent, I think it Play said. as the silent, yeah. And then we can play as the robot. Come on. There you go. It's a robot? I thought you said you knew nothing. Uh, in according to the thing, it said it's a robot. Okay. It's a robot okay. wizard. It's a robot wizard. A robot wizard. Yeah. The fuck? Yeah. Anonymous says, "When you guys gonna do that injustice to me? It's the perfect time since you guys are riding off that Avengers high." Oh fuck. What happened? I clicked exit game instead of exit menu. It's fine. It's Everything's fine. fine. Everything's fine. Can you believe that plot twist? Bruce Willis was dead the whole time. Ah, spoiler joke. I get it. <laughs> Captain Picardy third says, "Hey guys. Hi. Love the recent best of the work uh, Breath of the Wild streams." There we go. You got me replaying the game, and I'm having a lot of fun. You're welcome. <clears throat> Wait. Thanos does look like Bruce Willis, though, doesn't he? We can't do this. Because I've never <clears throat> played the beta. In order to unlock the silent, we need to complete a single run. The silent started unlock normally, right? I believe so. Damn it. Why can we see the green screen now? Are you sure we can't just start a run and die and have that count? Yeah, let's you know what? Let's find out. Hold on, we're gonna we gotta check this out really quick. Are we are is our green screen flipping out? A little bit? Every time we check, it's not, and then I go I back know. and look at the footage, and there's something fucked up going on. Yeah. Every sorry. time. Every time, I'm sorry. Yeah, I know how to... Yeah. Start a run and quit, and it will count. Oh, okay. No, 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 no. Abandon the run, I think. Defeat. Oh, I was defeated. <laughs> it's a bit hinky. Yeah. I don't know why. We gotta we gotta figure out what's going on. There's a lot of stuff we need to figure out. In life in general. Just in life I, in general. I get it. What I, I what I believe is happening with our green screen is if a, a bright color happens on the TV, it affects the ambient uh, light in here. You know what? That's that's an interesting thought. Because our, our lights in here are relatively dark. Yeah. Relatively speaking, you know. Uh, 
There you go. And we keep them in here relatively dark, so like we're not super distracted by the. Uh... You know, I you know what I bet we need. Look, if we had a couple lights specifically for the green screen. Yeah. I think I know what to do. I think I have an. I think I have a, a way to to make this happen. Okay, so now if we choose the silent. What does it say for the? Uh, okay. I think. Oh nope. Never mind. Wait, so do we have to do the same thing? I don't know. Yes, we're playing on the beta. Bright ambient light would totally explain it. Well, it would because our our our. Our ambient light is rather dim, and so if, like, a big blue light happens on our TV, that would affect the green screen, right? I mean, maybe it's selfish, but, you know, we'd rather not be playing games in a giant, brightly lit room. Oh, right. there you go. Well, you know, it would be distracting. But if we had a light specifically on the green screen, that would be slightly brighter uh, that's behind us. All right, here we go. Boom. The defect. The defect. Cracked core. At the start of each combat, channel one lightning. Okay. Another try. Oh, it's one of those robot things. Which those robot the, things? Th this is like an enemy. Which ones? There's, a, there's an enemy that has like a blue orb and... Oh, there's yeah. a lot of weird enemies. Gets us to a shop. Fire. Here's a fire. Uh, let's try. Uh, let's try this one. Let's try this way. Okay. Oh, what? Hunchback Jack says. That's your lightning. At the end of turn, deal three damage to a random enemy. Evoke, deal eight damage to a random enemy. Hmm. And I have. Orb slots. So I'm assuming they save up. I don't know. I, I don't know. All right, we're, we're, we're new things. We're getting new things. Oh, blue cards. That's so weird looking. Yeah. Evoke your next orb two times. Hunchback Jack says, "Hey Jack and Rich, have you played the Back to the Future game? I've been playing lately, and while it lacks any significant gameplay, I admit to being charmed by it. It nails the feel of the movies." I, I, didn't, I never finished it, but the guy they got to basically do a Michael J. Fox impersonation is spot on. Oh, yeah? Yeah. And then Doc Brown is, I believe, just Chris, Christopher Lloyd came back to do it. Oh, fun. Oh, okay. I'm, fi I'm figuring it out. What are you figuring out? How, do, how how the orbs work? How do they work? Uh, you have a card that gives you an orb, and then you have a card that can play the orb. Like you can't just click on an orb to evoke it. Really? You need a card that says evoke. I believe. Huh. Huh. Got, yeah, I got. It. Oh wait, I think. Yeah, like you can't just click on an orb. Okay. But then here, like you have this, like evoke your next orb two times. This is an evoke card. All right. Nope. Not enough, but it's all right. We're we're doing it. We're figuring it out. What type of game is it? What system is it on? Are you talking? About, if you're talking about the Back to the Future game, uh, that's was that last gen? That was last gen. That was like PlayStation Three era, right? Oh, was it? I yeah. know. I don't remember. The Telltale remember. Games. Oh, the Telltale Back to the Future. Yeah. Game. Sure. Sure. Okay. So an adventure game. Right. Like The Walking Dead. What does the one that's in beta say? Well, like, what did that do? 
Oh, I think that was just like beta artwork. Um, that, oh, okay, that's what that means. I'm, yeah, I, I assumed that's what beta meant. I figured it was something had to do with this being the beta, rather than they <laughs> meant for that card to say beta. It's so weird. But maybe, you know, we are a robot, so maybe his car, like, even his cards oh, I, I, are in beta. I could have seen them doing something like that because he's a robot. Yeah, yeah. I assume that's just beta art artwork. I think that was this one. Nope, shit. That was that one. God damn it. Well, we'll get one card. Gain seven block X times. Nice. That's a good card to have. We'll, uh, we'll, we'll get another question mark. Another question mark. Ah! Question mark. Queer stream mark. Great. So does the orb then just consistently do three damage a turn if you don't do anything with it? Yes. But when you use it, it's gone. It, but when you use it, it's gone. And then you can get these cards, which give you orbs. So you can just hang, hang out with that orb there and just keep playing defense. Exactly. Exactly. Like this one does six damage and channels one frost. So then this is a frost orb. At the end of each turn, gain two block. Okay, five block. Ooh, okay. So I get two. I only get two block from that. I'm on your game, cultist. You give me more lightning. Defend and will strike. I get to. Okay, I'm getting this. I'm getting this. This is neat. This is neat. Uh, this is different. <laughs> the orbs. This is definitely different. This isn't just like, you know, the, I feel like the other two were just basically different cards, you know, like the poison cards yeah. and the attack cards. But this is a whole new thing. The cards that significantly changed up the way they played. Oh, sure. But it was just new cards. Here, here there's a whole, I suppose this is just new cards too, but it feels, it feels different. Damage. Oh, he's only got a little bit left. I'm gonna see like that. Yeah, that's that's nice. This is this is interesting. Static discharge. Whenever you take attack damage, channel one lightning. Got it. Edo Kendo says, "Would you guys ever consider revisiting No Man's Sky?" I've heard the game is no longer a giant piece of shit and is actually kind of decent, no. but I no longer own my copy of the game. Yeah, probably not. No, not even a little. Not even a. N it's a little too late. Not even a little part of me wants to look at that game again, ever. <laughs> There's too much other shit I'd actually rather do. Right? Yeah. Like, unless someone said, like, oh, uh, they've put out a free patch that completely changes absolutely everything about the game. <laughs> And then there, there's, there's just nothing that I want to. This reach power card plays this combat game twelve block, but it cost four. I don't even have four. Oh, okay. Oh, I get it. I get it. Never mind. I get it. Seven damage. Draw three cards. Is this a roguelike, but with cards? Kind of. Absolutely. Yeah. 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 It, it definitely is. The, uh, the, you go through, you unlock more cards that can be added to your hand. Every time you play the game, it's a different, you have a different hand. It's a different experience. This is the this is the brand new character just revealed in beta form, and as you can see, for some of my cards, even the cards don't have artwork on them yet, which is crazy. Go and 
I hate to have a ton of the ones that just say beta. Yeah, because a lot of times you remember them by the by image. the art they have. Yeah. 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 It art. really it would really throw me for a loop. It would just be, it would just take like a ton of extra reading. Yeah. Wait, what one's this one again? Bap, bap. Yeah, I know what potions are. Or if you have the one card that says beta, but you think it's the other card that says beta. <laughs> Ooh. Have four cards you draw pile, you may discard any of them. Gain three block, return a random card from your discard pile to your hand, or gain one orb slot. Yeah, I'm going full orb slot. <laughs> that sounds that sounds horrible. Oh yeah, I'm an orb slot. <laughs> I want all them orbs. I'm an orb slut. Yeah. Sometimes that's great. I did say slut, yes. You did say slut. It's orb slot. Great. Great. Give me all them orbs. I want all of them. Is there a chance of a God of War review? Yeah, there's a very good chance, I'd say. In, in fact, it was at my feet right now is my camera bag. <laughs> <laughs> uh, because we were supposed to film our our review today before the stream. It was not far enough in. And it was not far enough. I, I I don't I don't want to spoil anything for Rich, and I didn't want to, but you know, like we were talking about this last week a little bit. Yeah. And it's like, yo, when can we get the review? And I said, well, Rich, I, I need you to get to at least X part of the game. And no spoilers. And and I said, don't worry. You'll know it when you get there. And and Rich, you thought you got there, but it wasn't the part. And so by now, now it's just you have to finish the story of the game. So you're f we're far enough in where you just have to finish the story. Then we'll have plenty to talk about. Four hours in. This is going to be a five-hour stream. You probably. We did start early, and I don't want to feel like I'm I'm jipping you guys who didn't know we were going to start early because we didn't we didn't announce anything about it. We just did it. Yeah, yeah. Ooh, what we'll gave you the extra slot? A uh, card. I got a power. Ah. A power. Yeah. <laughs> Deal with it. Look <laughs> your next orb two times. So I think this is my next orb is like the, whatever the front orb is. Yeah. So I could gain ten block, but this will get me even more block. Is that. <laughs> oh, that's great. That's great. Wonder what other kind of orbs they got. You just discharge. Well, you have to wait. You have to. You need a card to discharge the orb, right? Yeah. I believe. It's more like a mushroom growing out of a dead mouse. That's kind of exactly what it is. You're fighting the mushroom, not the mouse. Yeah. Yeah. Add a random command card into your hand. That's interesting. That's some beta artwork if I've it. ever seen it. <laughs> Look at that artwork. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> you know what? I guess we kind of need that. Then we need that card just for that adorable artwork. <laughs> Looks like he just whipped it up into MS Paint real quick. Yeah. I mean, look, that's all of it. Look at look at the defend. Wow. Strike, I think, is, is pretty close to being yeah. done, but yeah. Gain two orb slots. Yeah. Full orb slot. That's my goal. That's my game. You don't find no fucks about artwork. Well, this, is the, this is the beta. It's the right. They're, they're you know what? They're trying to hone gameplay. Hey, what a shocking, <laughs> a shocking thing here. They're like, hey, let's put these cards out there. We know what they want to do. We'll deal with, you know, how it looks later. Right. 
You find a shimmering mass of light encompassing the center of the room. Its warm glow and enchanting patterns invite you in. I think it's worth it. Uh, yeah. Nine damage, nine block. Yeah. Great. Yeah, I'll need to heal sooner or later. Jack Trigger Joyce has a question in the chat. says, I have a question I've been dying to ask. Where do you get your ideas from? Does anybody know where they get ideas from? I have no idea where ideas come from. They just appear. <laughs> just appear. That's... <laughs> They just appear. That's that's kind of it. Either, you know, something you saw a while back and you f think of a way to tweak it, or just they just appear. It's just something dumb you want to do. Your brain, your brain has a random spark, mixes with another random spark, and... Oh, hey, how about uh, them and this? Yeah? I just had a thought! We uh, humans really love to form patterns out of nothing. Uh -huh. Since since uh, the dawn of our consciousness, we have loved to form patterns out of nothing, and that's all ideas are. It's just uh, these these little separate things, and they'll put them together, see what happens. I don't know. If there's any one answer, right? Let's see here. Next orb two times. Let's strike this. Cause he's gonna he's gonna run away soon enough. I think the brain just takes various ideas and churns them together and remixes them. Yeah. yeah. Get out of here, defend. There we go. We got him. We got him. Eight. So we don't have free will. Well, free will's overrated. What do you mean we don't have free will? Get out of here. Of course we have free will. Of course we have free will, but you know, the, the, fr the, the random, what are you talking about? We don't have free will. Six damage, evoke your next orb. Ooh. Yeah. Yeah. We'll try that. Of course we have free will. Free will and random and random actions don't necessarily uh, oppose each other. I don't know about that. I mean, I don't, know, I don't know that we have free will. Okay. I don't know that I'm sufficiently convinced. What does it mean? What, well, I was good, I was, that was going to be my very next question, is define free will for me. Uh, the, ability, the ability to choose our next action is free will. I should rest. And I think we have that. I think we have the ability to choose whatever we do next. You know, you know why I know that? So many people fail and die. <laughs> And that means that they they chose poorly. <laughs> I, I I think I think there's there's too much randomization in the concept of free will for me to be comfortable with it. I like the idea that if I am put in this particular situation, every time I'm going to make the same choice because that's what makes me me. That kid's getting hit by a bus. So you going to jump out of the way to save him? Yes. That that's that's the thing I would do. Yeah, that's the thing you choose. In order to, to have free will, it would be like sometimes I wouldn't choose to do that. Sometimes you wouldn't, <laughs> because every situation is different. Or you mean in the exact same situation? Yeah, in the exact same situation. Yeah, but I think you're, you have it backwards. You have free will, and so you would do the same thing in every situation. Because you've made those choices okay. to make that decision. Okay. Let's do that. Let's apply three weeks. 
Imagine riches like the Doctor and Voyager who said everything was set in stone during the Big Bang. Big Bang. Big Bang. Ah, uh, yeah! I think it's, it's very likely. That everything was set in stone? Yeah. Uh, like uh, all choices were set in stone at the big, big Bang. So no matter what we do, it was meant to be that way? It's just going to be that way. I don't know if meant implies some kind of design. <laughs> hmm. That that seems that's that seems to. It was just going to be that way, and that that seems to be looking at it from a hindsight perspective. Jack, did Michelangelo carve the David, or was the David under the stone all the time? And he just chipped parts away that weren't David. He carved the David. Don't be dumb. <laughs> I, I, I know, I know. There's some, there's some artist bullshit out there that says no. The painting was always on the canvas, and I just revealed it. And that's an artist being an asshole. Michelangelo studied, practiced, and spent his entire life focusing on how to carve away stone to make a thing, and so he made a thing. Our. Are you saying that, Rich, you could right now take a hunk of marble and, and Michelangelo would appear just because he was there to Jack, begin I, with? I was being cute. I know, I know. And I was pulling a classic Rich. I'm, I'm I know, a, uh, I know. You flipped the, you flipped the dynamic. Flipped the script, Rich, <laughs> and you weren't comfortable with it. <laughs> no, I'm fine with it. Michelangelo was an asshole. Michelangelo was an asshole. I'm sure he was. I smiled, Jack. Everyone was I'm, an asshole. I'm fine with it. <laughs> I suppose there's a limit on the amount of cards you can get that expand your orb slots. Can you imagine what this would look like if you had like a hundred of those cards? I would love that. <laughs> I would love that. <laughs> I mean, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not going to seriously argue with you about the free will issue because this isn't something I've actually sat down oh, right? and thought that deeply about. <laughs> right? <laughs> Oh yeah, no, it's all it's all wibbly wibbly wombly. Oh, I want another lightning orb. Have you play this card? Reduces cost. Okay, great. We're doing great. Rubber Fistfight says, Actually, Kate Mulgrew was convinced that Janeway had an undiagnosed psych ah, psychotic-esque condition because of how all over the place her writing was. <laughs> so, so she played Janeway like she was insane. <laughs> that, that does help Janeway make a lot more sense. That just makes you love Kate Mulgrew even <laughs> yeah, more, by I the know. way. <laughs> just Kate Mulgrew is great. <laughs> Perhaps, perhaps traveling through like what was the thing they traveled through? Traveling through the uh, the uh, trans warp conduit, which went caused her to go insane. Oh, you mean when they first got there? Well, then yeah. why didn't it affect everyone else? Maybe it did. Oh well. Bel Belana Taurus went through the pond far for Christ's sake. <laughs> <laughs> they they rich they traveled back in time. Maybe that was a mass illusion due due to psychosis. If if turning into a salamander doesn't fuck up your brain, I don't know what will. <laughs> yeah, Captain Janeway turned into a salamander in one episode of Star Trek Voyager. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. This is why people don't like the show. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <clears throat> Not just Janeway. It was Janeway in, in uh, Paris, right? And didn't they have salamander babies? She also murdered a very nice person because she missed her friend. Yes, that's right. She had she had salamander babies with salamander Tom Paris. She so so she <laughs> she salamander fucked Tom Paris, which is an accurate statement. And then uh, on one episode, she straight up murdered someone because she wanted her friend back. 
She made the wrong she, call. She ordered her goons to cart him off to be executed. Yeah. But a person who, by the way, was pretty awesome. Super super helpful, super nice. He was the best of both Tuvok and Neelix yeah. and would have been an asset to the crew. Yes. Yes. Murdered him. <laughs> Murdered him. <clears throat> Tuvix was a Mary Sue. That was kind of the point, though. <laughs> I know you meant that as a joke. Tuvix was great. I know we were supposed to feel sad because we lost Tuvox and Neelix, but. Oh, yes. Yes. Ooh, I like that. Yeah, shit ton of money. When they, upon pickup, upgrade two random attacks. Tuvix wasn't great. He was a whiny coward. So you're saying he deserved to die then? Think about it. I, I don't think about it. I don't know how you could justify Janeway's actions. No. No. Tu Tuvix was both super smart log and logical but also empathetic and pleasant to be around. Tuvix would have been an asset to that crew and was a unique individual with his own consciousness. Yeah. No matter how you play it, Janeway murdered him. How would, how would Janeway feel if somebody wanted to rip her in two because somebody thought they could make two decent people out of it? <laughs> How the fuck would Janeway feel yeah. about that? You know what? Your personality's all over the place, Janeway. I'm gonna rip you <laughs> apart because I like this Janeway better. Now, to be fair, that Janeway would be pretty great. The other one can cook for us. <laughs> <laughs> Damn right. A significant amount of people who are going to watch this and just be absolutely confused. Talking about Star Trek Voyager. Very important discussion here. There's an episode where the characters of Neelix and Tuvox were fused together in a transporter accident. Right. And they became one person. Tuvix. It, they became a third entity. Tuvix. And had the memories of both. Huh? Had the memories of both. Had the memories and personality traits of both. Yeah. And then Janeway decided to rip Tuvix apart. Against the protest of Tuvix. Because, of course, Tuvix was a third individual. Who, who literally had to be dragged to the transporter room begging for his life by Janeway's goons. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's how the episode ends. Great. <laughs> him, him pleading with people to help him, but nobody did. Honestly, think about that. I know. Think I know. about that. No one helps. I, and so I guess, you know what? We, we can't just blame Janeway. I mean, Janeway made the call, but someone on that crew should have been the voice of reason. So it's, all, it's the, we have to blame the whole crew. Keeping Tuvix around requires killing two people. Two deaths is worse than one. Tuvix should, eh. Tuvix should die. No, no, because they were, those two were already dead when the transporter accident happened. Right. Uh, it, it was no one's fault, the transporter accident, right? No one yeah. purposefully yeah. set the transporter to merge them. Yes. So two, you, Rich is absolutely correct. Two people had already died. At that point, you're playing God. You're trying to bring people back to life. <laughs> Wrong call, Janeway. Look at how many orbs I have now. So many fucking orbs. <laughs> the orbs <laughs> oh yes whenever I take damage I get one lightning orb it's so great yes 
this. Oh, I just got slimed. That must be a new card. I haven't played this in a while. I just got slimed. Oh, yeah, that's been a thing for a while. And the, the slime monsters now? Yeah. Really super obnoxious. I, I'm, I'm noticing. It, it has made the... Remember the slime boss for the first level? It was kind of a cakewalk? Yeah. Oh, shit. Now, now that, that boss battle is a pain in the ass. Shit. Sausage Toast says, so the players ask for a third character, and the devs give them blue balls. Nice. <laughs> nice. Well done. Well done, Chad. This new character is very much not balanced or completely flushed out. Well, welcome to the beta. <laughs> welcome to the beta build. I just want to see what. Yeah, we like. We're not here to like <laughs> critique or judge. This. Th remember, everyone, and this is. I know something we said earlier, and you might have missed it. This is the beta version of the early access game. So, like, we're not exp Half of these cards have MS Paint art. We're not here to really criticize. We're just. We just want to check it out. We're just here to check it out, you know. Six damage, evoke your next orb. No, I want to keep my next orb. The real problem with Voyager was that it was a writing crew already burnt out. Plus, they didn't accept spec scripts anymore, so they really were screwed for ideas. Huh. They'd stopped accepting spec scripts by then. That was always a famous thing with Star Trek. They would accept fan scripts. Oh, really? They didn't necessarily, you know, they didn't make everyone they got sent. Oh, but sure, sure. You could submit a script to them and they might use it. Oh, that's fun. Yeah. Future Prez JRB says, Hey, Rich and Jack. Hi. Imagine a world where you have the opportunity to completely retcon the entire Star Wars prequels. How do you change the story? Love you guys. Uh, okay. I would do nothing and stop making movies after Return of the Jedi. And I would look forward to the future and other new ideas that people might come up with. I like it. <laughs> That's my idea. That's so my pitch. You're, you're, you're in charge and, and Lucas says, oh, I think I, I, think I want to do some uh, Star Wars no. prequels. And you go, you, know, go, you go, George. You had, you had great success with Star Wars. You, you did the Indiana Jones thing. That's great. I, I will I will finance any movie you want made as long as it is a new intellectual property, George. Any movie. Hit me up, George. We can make this happen. I will not make a Star Wars. Oh, I was thinking about a new Indiana Jones. In the you know, crystal. This kind of CGI movie about like like fairies in a garden or something. Fine. Mm -hmm. Fuck it. That's fine. Whatever. No, what was that one he made? He made yeah, that. He did, he did what was it called? I was going to say the name as a joke, but I couldn't remember it. <laughs> But by the way, that's fine. That's something new. The yeah. Fa I want to make uh, the, the movie with the black airplane drivers. Yeah, go. Make it. Make it. No, he made a he made like a fairy movie. Strange Magic. Thank you, chat. <laughs> I want this movie called uh, Strange Magic. Perfect. Um, let's make it. Um. Let's make it. I will give you money for that. Look at that. Look at that art. <laughs> <laughs> I almost prefer the MS Paint art. That's so great. It's energy. Interesting. Interesting. Jack, do you have anything to add about chance to remake the prequels thing? I mean, I'm firmly on team. We don't need them. No, and I think that's fine. Like, let's assume there's a, there's a world in which the prequels are going to be made no matter what. Yeah. 
and and I have I have some sort of sway within Lucas or within whoever, right? Yeah. I I, I would just and this this applies to that. This applies to the new ones being made, where it's just like let's just try to make them dumb, fun adventure movies. Like we don't need to go into the lore. Let's just let's just make some adventure movies. Remember, remember, George, you wanted to base them off of the serials, the the science fiction serials. <laughs> Do you remember, <laughs> Mister Lucas? What if we just made some space fun, some fun space movies? Wouldn't that be great? We don't need to worry about continuity. To make some adventure movies. But uh, so that that would be my only thing is is just remember remember to keep them fun. Let's yeah. let's try to keep them fun. Look, financially I know that's not the way to go. I'm you're talking about what I would like to see. Yeah. And that's what I would like to see. N nothing. <laughs> right, right, right. <laughs> no, that's fair. That's really fair, Rich. I'm saying Axe Kick still does damage if you don't have an orb to evoke. Oh, is that true? I'm just reading, reading the thing. Great. I think I'll lightning him and do that last. Yes, okay, great. Great. Sure. Prequels would have been a lot better with just a good second pass on the writing editing stage. And a third. And a fourth, and a fifth. They're not very well thought out. Oh, fuck yeah. Is there any reason that Star Wars took place a long time ago? Yes, because they're not really science fiction movies, they're fantasy movies, they're fairy tales. And fairy tales take place a long time ago. In, in the whenever. Yeah. The sci-fi, the sci-fi aspects of Star Wars, Star Wars. That's that's superficial. That's window dressing. It's really about. Spaceships. It's about. Yeah, yeah. It's about wizards. And instead of instead of riding horses, they're flying spaceships. But it's wizards and knights and magic. Yeah. It's a way of saying once upon a time that you can copyright. <laughs> That's beautiful. That's beautiful, Rich. Space wizards and big dogs that fly spaceships. Or some kind of sidekick ogre type creature. Yep. Uh, yeah. Who are the elves? Ewoks? Alderanians. <laughs> well, like not every not everything fantasy needs to be Tolkien. Right. Right. To I, I know Tolkien kind of has like the market cornered. Uh, you need el you need, you know, light but smart and rich elves and dumb but strong ogres and uh, um, uh, it's not a one for one 
Right, it's not one yeah. for one Tolkien fantasy, but it's 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 the he it's the hero. But it's definitely wizards and knights and magic. It's the hero finds the sword and defeats the villain. Right, yeah. absolutely. It's not a speculative fiction on how nanotechnology might affect the future of mankind. It's not. It's, it's not. <laughs> Yes, it's the hero's journey in space! You're, you're right, Jack, Trigger Joyce. It's just that easy. Because there are a lot of other ideas for the hero's journey, so then, you know, it goes to space. <laughs> like <laughs> any classic franchise, the, the once they go to space, it's all over. And we know that to be true. Oh, this could be interesting. Evoke all your orbs, gain an orb slot for each orb evoked. Okay. Let's see if it works. Maximum orb capacity has been reached. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, <laughs> six, seven, eight, nine, ten orbs, by the way. Orb! Ten orbs. Uh, oh, no, he's not. Uh... That's great. That's great. Central question is, what should a Star Wars movie be? Over. Yeah. You know. Is it so much to ask just to just to have a fun space adventure? Give me that give me that space adventure. Hit me. Puff says, Rich, have you ever gotten Mike back for all that teasing on Best of the Worst? Thanks for the stream, guys. Uh, I mean, I, I really haven't been out for blood for, for what happens during our silly episode movie discussions. What? You haven't been? No, I haven't been. Weird. I understand that best of the worst means I'm gonna be the, the, the what's the word I'm looking for here? The, the I'm gonna bear the brunt of some jokes. I'm gonna be the. Why am I trying a blank on the expression here? I don't know. I don't know. Rich. The butt of the joke. The butt of the joke. But thank you. That, I, I you, were, you were you were looking for butt. You yeah. Couldn't? Oh. I couldn't remember the expression. Oh, well, I yeah. couldn't remember the expression. The butt of the joke. It's my, it's my old age, Jack. I'm getting that senil senility, senility. What do they call it? What's that word? Servile. What senile? <laughs> oh, senile. That's, senility. That's the word. Senility. Yes, I'm getting that senility. Sweet Jeebus Crisp, man. I'm getting that senility in my old, uh, odge. Odge, right? Old odge. That's it. Oldage. Dementia? No, I've always been like that. It's nothing new. <laughs> David, I know people says Reich and Jahak 
Yeah. What up? My name is pronounced Davidino People. So you guys were both wrong. Well, put a fucking capital letter in your name. No, if I'm gonna if I'm gonna pronounce your name as written, your name is Davidino People. Davidino People. Add a, add a space for some capitals, man. Yeah, get it together. I don't know what's supposed to be separate words or not. When is Jay going to come back to the show? Since you enjoyed the first Injustice game, will you play too? Uh, whenever he wants, and probably. Because we enjoyed our playthrough. Nama says, Dear Rich, I never seen any Star Trek besides the movies. My boyfriend is a nerd, so I suggested season 3 TNG. Instead, we watched five seasons of Enterprise. Ugh. Is he a monster and is all Trek like this? He is a monster. By the way, yeah, like like if if you said if you said to your boyfriend, hey, let's watch some TNG, and he's and he made you watch Enterprise, that's breakup material right there. <laughs> That's just straight up breakup material. What a what a monster! That's that's going from from filet mignon to to what like Taco Bell to a fucking punch to the face. <laughs> like like if you said, "Hey, hon, I want to go out for some nice steaks tonight," and he just slapped you across the face <laughs> and said, "Here's your steak, baby." <laughs> Five seasons. Here's. Here's your mistake. Seasons, Jack, not Talking episodes. to me, baby. Seasons. Yeah. Get out. Get out of that relationship. That's you are the, the, that nothing good is coming. Shit. I think I might die. Yeah. I think so too. Yeah. It's a valiant effort. Felt pretty good. Felt pretty good. I'm liking. There's there there is definitely something to do with, okay. that, with that guy. All right, are you, are you done? Yeah, yeah, I'm good. All right, I think we are done. Great, meaty stream today. Yeah, meaty early stream. Let's uh, I'll tab over to that old twatcher because now is the point uh, in the stream in which we thank all of you lovely people who have subscribed to us during this very stream. Much like Otto Vaughn 212 Rebel of old! XL83 Gaming. Hellcat Striker for 12 months in a row! The Dude 1944 for 40 motherfucking months in a row. Gehen the light, sure. I think. Why not? Jimmy Lays for 15 months in a row, who says, why no first four hours of anymore? I don't know. It hasn't come up. Honestly. That's, that's really as simple it. as that. It hasn't come up. You see a game, you think, that would work well for that. Yeah. It hasn't really happened. Yeah. Sometimes that happens with shows. <clears throat> so it stop working. Space Alien Super Cocaine for 24 fucking months in a row. Says, Richard, I recently bought some Crystal Farms American cheese. And after eating that, I can't go back to Kraft because it's garbage. Yes. There's some good cheese out Kraft there. Kraft cheese is garbage. Yes. Mm -hmm. Congratulations. Your, your cheese life will be better from here on out. <laughs> your cheese life. Only your cheese life. The rest of your life, we can't do anything about. But your cheese life, that's that's on the up and up. Lord Malenth. N7 Charizard. Golden Shimp. Jargus 101. Sasquitch. Rashak. Amos L. The Blue Prism for 13 months in a row says... Winner, winner. Chicken dinner. You did it. Dan Dashley. 
one. Okay, uh, Uncle of Lies for 16 months says, Don't you gents agree that a movie based on Christopher Lee's time in the Ministry of Ungentlemanly Warfare in World War II needs to be made? Um, sure, why not? I mean... Sure, why not? Uh, from from all accounts, Christopher Lee is an absolute badass. What what movie was it? Was it Attack of the Clones when he was explaining how it really sounded when somebody got stabbed in the back because no, he'd no. actually done it to someone? Lo it was uh, Lord of the Rings. It was Lord of the Rings. When Saruman gets stabbed, Peter Jackson started explaining to him what he should sound like with his throat gurgling with blood, and he says. There is no need to explain that to me. I know what it sounds like when a man is stabbed through the throat. <laughs> badass. Fucking badass. Fucking badass. The, the only man who, like, knew Tolkien, right? <laughs> like, he knew Tolkien. Did he? he? Yeah. I didn't know that. Oh, fuck yeah. He knew, he knew Tolkien. He went to war. He, he was... He, he is the, the badass when he's he's 90 some years old playing in heavy metal bands god damn it he's a badass i didn't even know he was in a heavy metal band yeah he was doing vocals for like for like demonic rock like, i have oh. more respect for christopher lee than ever before yes he knew I... he knew tolkien personally and is the only person who ever got tolkien's blessing to play gandalf Gandalf? Gandalf. Gandalf. He was the other one. He was Soromon. Oh, but he wanted him to play Gandalf. But well, Tolkien wanted him to play back, Gandalf. Back in the day. Back in the day. Back in the day. Tolkien, when, you know, way back in the day when Tolkien was still alive and they were talking about movie rights or whatever, he's the only one to personally get Tolkien's seal of approval huh. to play Gandalf. Huh. Even though he ended up playing Soromon. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. All right, uh, we're going to leave off. That's a great question. Uh, Chris Lee, Sneaky Smedstad for 15 months in a row. Ray Koenig says, thanks for the great stream, guys. Jack, do you have any anecdotes or advice about becoming a parent? I'm currently expecting my first. I'm going to, this is going to sound like a real bummer. And I don't, and I don't mean to sound like a bummer because like, I like kids. Um, and I'm really glad I had kids, but having kids is way harder than you think it's going to be. And so basically, um, my only advice is prepare as best you can to have your life completely wrecked. And that's not, that's not to say, that's not a bad thing. <laughs> this sounds like, this sounds like bitter, sour grapes. No, to no, me. no, no, no. What, what it is, what <laughs> no, it is. No, no, it's, I mean, it's, it's, it's so I'm, I'm glad that my life got ruined. I'm uh, glad. What, what, <laughs> what I mean by wrecked is everything you do now it's not going to be there. It's totally worth paying it's, elbow deep in fecal matter for three years. Uh, honestly, totally three worth it. straight years of shit and puke everywhere. But <laughs> what, what I'm saying is everything you have now, it's going to change and it's going to be different. Everything you have now will be destroyed, but you, you'll get something else out of it. There is a, there is a positive to this. You get to uh, hopefully leave the world better than you than you found it by by raising uh, a youngin but everything will change and it's okay to ask for help they're gonna grow up and they're gonna vote for trump oh my god you <laughs> make sure that you raise them not to be horrible dickheads uh but like don't be don't be afraid to ask for help don't be afraid to take a break don't be afraid to to uh reach out to a support network. It's it, it's tough. Having kids is fucking tough. <laughs> so. All right. I'm a terrible salesman for parenthood. Fucking good. It is tough. It, having kids is so hard, and I wanted them, and I thought I was prepared. It wrecked me. <laughs> like, my first kid, that, that, like, year after I had my first kid, I was a goddamn mess. You know, I'm good now, but. <laughs> Soul proxy. <laughs> ah, do, do, where Machine are gun funk you? for I 20 fucking months in a row. Anything. Where... Encephalopathetic for 19 months in a row. 
who says 19 months this is not enough of jeff bezos's money for all you helped me get over my anxiety <laughs> with one simple <laughs> phrase it's fine it's fine everything is fine <laughs> glad to help if that's what gets you over your anxiety i, I say that to myself it's like a soothing. it's fine everything's fine everything's fine it's a soothing thing okay okay discorder discord yes ebriosa i last 1984 slash s for 35 fucking months in a row gulpy neo striker hoff mad zero kagor zim butter monkey zim but her i think zim but zim butter monkey Actually, it's Zimba, Zimba, he monkey. Z oh, Zimbu the monkey. If you want, if you want a name pronounced right, you can't just string a bunch of lowercase letters together and expect us to know where the breaks come. You can't do that, you people. <laughs> you gotta capitalize some of this shit. <laughs> Red selves. Uh, Koala Queef. Ice Bone Badger for 45 motherfucking months in a row, says, eagerly anticipating the next Black Spine installment of the RLMCU, when Rich destroys half the VHS tapes in the universe to bring balance. Calron27, who says, Rich, Jack, have some Amazon money. Watching old RLM and came across the review of Turbo Kid. Your thoughts? Great. Oh, it's great. Turbo Kid. It's great. absolutely great. Yeah. And we we were fortunate enough to have uh, the best screening of yeah. it, which is just all of us. Uh, yeah, everyone, it was yeah. projected and it was it was great. Projected it was on a, a wall and it was projected on a wall. It was a great screening. It was it was beautiful. Uh, let's see here. Jack, the Lee Mato soundtrack is retro, retro synth, gold, rich, the Max, the only other good image comic series? What? Is the Max the only other good image comic series? I, I mean, I've heard it's gone downhill. I was always fond of the Savage Dragon. Uh, the Walking Dead is an image comic series. Oh, that did very well. Oh, okay. I mean, at, the, at the time, in their heyday, probably... Hmm. Probably that and the Savage Dragon were the only things worth it. Hmm. But, you know, Turbo, Turbo Kid's great. Turbo Kid is a great movie. Recommend it to all. Prague Plays! Uh, Oathwood. Watches 2. Lirst. Lysandus! Who says, What snake never skips dessert? A python. Shoot McBamboom. Sunburn tuba. Sunburnt tuba. Nice. Kings. King. Oh, King Stannis 85. That is a Game of Thrones reference. Oh. King Stannis. Ridiculous Lee. Says Jack Rich. I'm making nachos. Do you want some? Yes. Yeah, send them in the mail. Oh, none and for me. And we'll have some nachos. Rich wants some. None for me. Thanks, though. I appreciate you offering. Chiboleth for 19 months in a row. The Forbin Project. Quizibook. JR32099. Tabrarian. I thought it was Talabanarian for just, just glancing at it. Oh. Which would have been terrible. That uh, is. <laughs> well, someone to archive the. <laughs> The tell that might actually be good. Actually, Someone they go to archives and they just tear down statues. I mean, it's really not good. It's <laughs> they they collect all the books, then burn they, them right. because they're heretical. Yeah, okay, <laughs> never mind. You're right. That's a pretty bad thing. <laughs> Owen Thunderguns, Weckless for forty three motherfucking months in a row. Scorn twelve ten for thirteen months in a row. Says keep on hacking and frauding. We'll do. Eric. We'll do. Irk, the Birdman. Puccilio. Captain Picardi, third. 
because movie for 27 fucking months in a row says, look out, those cards can be some kind of fucking edged weapon. Thanks for 27 plus months of laughs. Wisconsin accent. Oh, I can't, you do this. I can't, I can't do accent. I can't do a Wisconsin accent. Can you? It's it's kind of just like the far, it's no, not like, far. No, it's, it's like, well, Urgle, Mid, Mid, Midwest Marge, eh? Eh? Midwest, uh, I never get tired of your witty shit. And I think you're doing a Boston. And never get tired of your witty shit. What is, what is the Wisconsin accent? Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Oh, oh, geez, oh there. I, never... I never get tired of your witty shit, eh? <laughs> you're, you're throwing some Canadian into it, but it's, it's fine. So I, yeah, they're all right there. I grew up here, so I don't really have a Wisconsin accent. M-Tilt for 16 months in a row. But you know something I was thinking about? Speaking of speaking of growing up in Wisconsin, I uh, I just recently watched the last Best of the Worst, which started with me making uh, forgetting uh, what team Scotty Pippen was on. Yeah, and I realized something. You and Mike were re like were shocked and aghast yeah. that I didn't know Scotty Pippen was on the Bulls. Yeah, but you and Mike also grew up in the Chicagoland yeah. area, and I did not. Okay. So the Bulls weren't really a big deal. Whatever. To me. I'm just, I'm just, uh, all right. I'm just saying. I just thought of that now. Of like, like, why were Mike and Rich so freaking out fucking, about the Bulls? Fucking Kim Jong Un loves the Bulls. <laughs> <laughs> Are you saying I'm no better than a North Korean madman dictator? <laughs> I'm saying no. I'm saying you're worse. <laughs> <laughs> no. Well, there go the peace talks, Rich. <laughs> He's going to hear about this now. <laughs> um, let's see here. Uh, M tilt for 16 months in a row. Rubber fist fight. Puff Max. Doughy Fresh 117 says, did you hack frauds ever get to the Witcher 3 DLC? Great expansions, especially the blood and wine one. I, I You know what? I haven't played any of the witcher since uh mm -hmm. since the stream uh, i i had a very good time but we other shit started coming up and now I'm, now i'm out now okay. i'm out but i did i did enjoy the witcher 3 i think there's a lot of positive aspects but i i got out because the the world got in the way uh, j j s kane 21 noble jade falcon Says, have you tried Battletech yet? I got gotta warm my hands. I gotta I gotta fucking emulate and mod some Zelda after that. You know, he's gotta play God of War first. That's the <laughs> I know, the I job. know. That's why I said it first. <laughs> God damn it. And then you know, emulate just, just, just could you talk in code so I can have plausible deniability? <laughs> We're not gonna stream it. When when the cops do come and shut you down, I need I don't want to be. I'll show them my copy of the game. <laughs> and then they can fuck off. Uh, double neg. Typo 53. Tyro. Tyro 53. I guess I, I, guess I read that as a typo. <laughs> hey. 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 Uh, our dog, Daniel. Uh, artisan neckbeard. Hmm. And Poe 4FX, thank you all for subscribing. We really appreciate it. I'm going to go play some Zelda mods. You're supposed to say I do. We do. It's very true.